I'm positive. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, I look at it through. Yes, you want to be better. Everyone gets frustrated at losing games. Will I make the club better? Of course I will. Uh, will I eventually get us out of this league? 100%. Um, I, I'd hate it if anybody said that I haven't brought the club on in, in 18 months and I haven't, I haven't progressed us because I have. Um, and I'll, I'll keep doing the same. And um, It's not very often that I've let this football club down and, and that won't start now. And um, when I say I'm going to do something, I always, I always stick to my word. Loan window is going to shut very soon, so if you're going to bring in a, a new striker to replace Addy for the next few weeks, it's got to be before the game against Portsmouth on Saturday, hasn't it? <sighs> really? <Yeah. laughs> wow, John, did you know the Titanic song? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's not stop. I was on the phone all day yesterday. Um, I'm actually... I, Every time I close my eyes now, I'm seeing centre-forwards. I've got the flu, and all I can think of is centre-forwards. So, um, yeah, we're working as hard as we can. Like I say, we missed out on three um, within 24, 48 hours last week. Um, I thought I had one yesterday, and that got kiboshed while I made my Sunday dinner. So I didn't even finish my Yorkshire's, which was disappointing, Jase. Um, it was a bad weekend. It was a bad weekend, mate. I love my York. I look forward to them all week. Um, uh, it's not yeah. a buyer's market at the moment, though, is it? That's the thing. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's it's a learning curve for us as a football club because we should have um, strengthened when we were fifth. When we were flying, we should have strengthened then. And because it, it's a real tough situation because you, you don't want to split the group up. You don't want to... Um, you don't want the group to think, oh, he doesn't think we're good enough because I do. Um, it's about making us better and we, we should have done that when we, we were strengthening. So that's a learning curve, not for me, but for the football club in general. Um, but we, we haven't, it's not very often the last couple of years we've been in this position, do you know what I mean? So we're, we're, we're learning, we, we, we thought the spirit and what we were doing would, would see us through and um, it, it's a learning curve for us. You look, you look at Northampton, they, they've, they've been top in January, they signed six players So it's uh, and, and hardly any of them are playing. So, um, no, it's it's a big learning curve for us, but what we, we won't do is give in. Um, I spoke to the chairman on Saturday night, and he went, we're, we're still in it. Go and get us a centre-forward now. Um, so he, he's, he still believes, he's fully behind it. Um, and we'll keep fighting, do you know what I mean? It's Will we, at this time of the season, be able to go out and get a, an out-and-out goal scorer? I doubt it, because the, um, the promotion teams are obviously keeping them. Teams that are fighting for relegation, uh, who have got goal scorers, are keeping them. And the ones in the middle are probably not good enough. So uh, it is tough. But I think if we get the right personnel, um, we've got goals in our team. Um, Matt Green's a, a top goal scorer. Do you know what I mean? He's a finisher. He might need a little bit of help. Um, so that's what we're going to aim to do. I'll give it everything I can, Jace, Because next Sunday, I want my Yorkshire pudding, <laughs> young man. <laughs>